Hey, Shine On Media, what's up? It's Laura Morano, and you are here at the Ordinary Maze Red Carpet. Fun music questions. Um, if you could only listen to one song for the rest of your life, what would it be? Uh, that's a really difficult question, but I'm going to go with Voodoo Child by Hendrix. Yeah, it's just a good all-around song. Oh, that is really hard. I don't know if I could choose. What about one artist? One artist? I think I could listen to Demi Lovato for a lifetime. If you were caught singing in the shower, what song would you be singing? And sing it for me. Um, da -da -da -da. that's not the song. We're just think about uh, singing in the shower. Singing in the shower. That's the song to sing in the shower. Only one to sing. Right? <laughs> Only one you're allowed to sing. Probably Shower by Becky G. Probably 90s hits, or like or like late 90s or early 2000s, or sometimes my own song. I like right in the shower, it's weird. Ooh, something probably really embarrassing. Like, mm -mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so many. Um, I've been singing in the shower Stockholm Syndrome by One Direction recently. Such a good song. I feel like everyone stares at me and looks at me weirdly when I... That changes every day. Today, uh, I was legitimately singing Hold On Loosely by 38 Special in the shower. I sing in the shower a lot. It's not a rare occurrence. Lately? Seriously, lately? That old, uh, what is that old Wham song? Uh, Wake me up before you go? No, 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 uh, George Michael, it's that, um... Careless Whisper. That's the one. Slow? For whatever reason, that's that saxophone solo. I feel like you need to. So I'll be like in the shower and like. Been singing that new Fast and Furious song in the shower. That's not really a shower song, but it's kind of sad, but but it can be. I'd make it work. I'm gonna be like, oh baby, baby. Oh baby, baby. How was I supposed to know? Uh huh, uh huh. Break it down, Laura. I'm like in the shower doing this. Yeah. Come on, hon. Oh, ah, in my eye. Yeah. It's been a long time since I've seen you, my friend. Da -da 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 I forget the the rest of it. Baby, look what you've done to me. Oh, baby, look what you've done now. Oh, baby, I'll never leave if you keep holding me this way. Oh. Oh. Baby, look what you've done. Baby, look what you've done to me. Yeah. Oh. Baby, oh. look what you've done now. Oh. Hey! Yes! So what was the first CD you ever bought? Ooh, uh, first CD I ever bought. Uh, I was obsessed with like the Jonas Brothers back then, so I had all their CDs, all the posters, everything. Like to run into Nick Jonas. I know, right? Don't tell him I'm here. Maybe it was like a now that's what I call music. You get a lot of stuff at once. Yes, exactly. I feel. I think my the first CD I ever got was probably like the Broadway cast recording of Annie. I loved Annie as a kid. Sugar Ray, uh, because I loved the song every morning. I probably Led Zeppelin one. My parents started me off in that stuff early, and I love it. First concert you ever went to? Um, probably this band called Jump Five. I know who that is. You know who Jump Five is? I was like, I was so little, and they were like my favorite band. It was a, uh, it was a music festival in Birmingham called the Crawfish Boil, and it had Shine Down, Bushwallow, Jason Mraz, and LL Cool J, and it was the best. Interesting. It was such a line. It's such a weird lineup, but it was a blast. Juanis, and it's a Latin artist, and I think it was at SeaWorld. The first concert I ever went to was Matchbox 20. Most embarrassing song in your life. Oh God, I don't know. I'm pretty proud of my my pop music. Uh, probably some show tunes, like singing, like belting some show, some secret garden song or something like that. I have some really weird ones that I bought when I was really little. I had like that, like gummy bear song, and then I have like the chicken dance. I don't know why, but I have. Now and then you, yeah, to break that out at a party. Yeah, I think it's like some weird song that somebody made up on YouTube about like cheese. I don't know. It just sounded cool. My friends we were laughing at it, so I kept it. Someday My Prince Will Come by Anastasia. Uh, it was on the first Disney Mania soundtrack. I say it's the most embarrassing, beca not because it's a bad song or I love Anastasia, but it's because I jammed to it more than a 21-year-old 20 dude should. But uh, I love it. We all got one of them. We all have one of those. If you get a song lyric tattooed on yourself, what song lyric would it be? Um, oh, probably something from the Rolling Stones, like... Pleased to meet you, hope you guess my name, or something like that. <laughs> I would probably get the entirety of Paradise City because that's been an actual, that's like an actual 
like poem or story, short story, kind of, and just modify it for the Guns N' Roses version. Well, I already have one on my arm. Um, it's a, a Leanne Womack song called I Hope You Dance. There's a few, there's, it's my song, it's, sorry, it's my mom's song for me. She dedicated it to me years ago, and uh, that was the third tattoo that I ever got, and uh, I love it. Like, say it's your musical crush. Someone whose musical talent you just... Selena Gomez, probably. Musical and probably... Maybe. <laughs> a musical crush. Probably Demi. I'm going to go back to her. She has a really strong voice, and I love that. Oh, my gosh. Um, a musical crush. I really love Tori. Tori Kelly. She's actually performing. She's she's a friend of mine, actually, which is really nice, and I'm so proud of her. And very So I could listen to the girl sing for the rest of my life. She could sing the phone book. And somebody that has that kind of talent and can embody music the way that she does so wonderfully and respectfully, um, it's something that I strive to do as an artist. And I definitely think... That's something that I have a crush on for sure. She's awesome. So you're gonna collaborate with Taylor Swift? Um, stop because I love her so much and I think I would die. Why haven't you met her yet? Um, because again, I think I would die. Be my father.